Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Beats channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, I'm covering the Moto Origins reveals from SDCC 2024. And special thanks to both Eternal Royalty and Pixel Dan for sharing out all of the early coverage from Preview Night. One of the biggest highlights was without a doubt, Rio Blast. One of the most awaited modern day updates of this vintage 80s classic. Rio Blast was on my video list last year of the top 5 most wanted Moto Origins figures and now he's finally here and fully strapped with some pistol packing awesomeness. Rio comes with all of the hidden weapon compartments and features of the original with swing out guns, secret reveal lasers and his heavy hardware backpack. One thing I did find a bit unsatisfactory was that the paint apps that were on his backpack and pistols, here they are of a dull white or something like a light grey colour tone. I mean, it just looks cheap, man. This is compared to the much better paint apps on the original, which were of a darker grey colour tone, and that made everything stand out so much better. Now, I hope that we're just seeing some early prototype images here, and that this isn't actually final. We also have Galdor and Demo Man, who we first saw months ago. These guys are definitely interesting looking, and Galdor was in the classic 80s mini comic, but at the same time, they're also super deep cut characters. And I'm kind of okay with skipping them as they were not a part of the original 80s run of figures. Now, there was actually a whole lot of cartoon collection figures being debuted. And it looks like Mattel is going deep on this line. And while the origin stuff is all meant as Mattel Creations exclusives, the cartoon collection range is supposed to be the one that's meant for retail. So, how's that turning out, guys? Are you seeing any of this stuff anywhere out there on shelves? Now, we have Voltec. I don't know if anyone was expecting him to turn up. He's like a purple genie, except that he's really supposed to be a vulture hybrid monster, I guess. And, you know, he's got huge purple wings. I can't recall if these wings have been used anywhere else. You guys let me know in the comments. Anyway, these are just massive, all right? Waltek is a pretty obscure character from the cartoon. He's kind of like an interplanetary zookeeper who captures rare creatures, you know, stuff like that keeps them in captivity, tortures them maybe. Helping him in his devious dealings are these floating dustbins with eyes on them, right? Or something that looks like a droid roaming the Death Star. Now, Voltec was released in classics, but never in the vintage toy line. Let me know if you guys are excited to see him. We have the cartoon collection Catra revealed as well. She was last seen most recently as a Masterverse release, but this is a cartoon look. Most likely, she'll have a removable face mask and that cape definitely comes off too. But what's interesting to fans is that they've also included her creature form. So this, in a way, is something of a two-pack. Then we have Ram Man in the mask of Shokoti from the classic Filmation episode. I guess the mask belongs as an accessory for Ram Man, but not quite sure what you can do with it though. Ram Man is making his second appearance in Origins. The first was all the way back in 2021. And this one came with a spring-loaded battering head feature which sort of operated more like a bouncing block, okay? <laughs> this is back when Origins was still pushing action features pretty hard. Now, Ram Man also came with an alternate head. You could swap it out and have an armoured faceplate look. Okay, this was very cool. The cartoon face here though is pretty comical, right? <laughs> now, I mean, Ram Man is of course a pretty goofy character. And that face cup there, you know, certainly captures that look. But I'm not sure if it's something that everybody wants. Okay, let me know how this particular expression works for you. Then we have the cartoon Many Faces, who's been in Origins a couple of times now already. I don't have the mini comic figure version, but the first release from Wave 2 all the way back in 2020 is still very nice. Although I do think the facial sculpts could maybe be a little bit better. The human face is good, and so is the robot look. Okay, but when it comes to the creature head, you know, that was always something I felt could have been a little bit more defined. No idea yet what accessories you might come with, but a lot of these cartoon figures seem to come with stuff that nobody really uses anyway, okay? Then we also have the cartoon collection Evil Horde Mantana figure, okay? This is really nice looking. And I think this is something that a lot of fans will actually want because it's actually very much different from the version that came out in Origins a couple of years back. Okay, that one also had the four-legged full creature mode. That's what they're going for here as well. And again, not really sure what Mantana will come with. Okay, what kind of accessories he's going to come with, but at least a weapon, a handheld weapon of some kind. All right, but either way, I think that this is a figure that a lot of you guys are going to be keeping your eyes out for. Lastly, 
we have a true surprise. Okay, finally, after years of anticipation, all right, we have the Origins Deluxe Modulog. All right, this is also a figure that was in my top five most wanted list video. Finally, he's here. He's coming, okay, at least. And looking at the timeline provided here, it's going to be sometime next year. But this is perhaps the ultimate Modulog figure for this particular scale for the Origins mode. And it also appears to be an excellent upgrade of the 80s original figure. Now, Modulog is, of course, a multi-membered monster okay you're supposed to be able to remove all of his limbs his legs his heads everything okay mix and match them and create something like a thousand different combinations that's right okay that's what the original promise as well and it appears that now you can do it with this new figure version better than ever before because while the original had a lot of parts and more articulation than any other motor figure before it Right? Yet, this particular new version has even more possibility, okay? More articulation joints on top of all the extra limbs that you're getting. So, this does appear to be the ultimate version of Modulock in this particular scale. He also gets the handheld weapons that can be combined to form a large blaster pistol. He also gets the removable separate tail and also what appears to be a new armored section, okay? Something new that they're throwing in there to give Modulock even more alternate looks and display options. Now, together with Rio Blast, Modulock is going to be another highly sought after release among vintage He-Man collectors in 2025. Guys, these are all the figures that have been revealed so far for Moto Origins and the cartoon collection range. There will, of course, be more reveals as SDCC kicks into high gear over the next couple of days. We'll be covering all of the action here as well. Join me for all the commentary and images and discussions and stuff like that. Let's talk about it here. Let me know also what you guys think about all these new reveals. Hit me up in the comment section and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Take care out there.